Step 1. Write out the calculation. 35 add 12 equals 47. 35 add 12 equals 47. Step 2. Show the calculation using manipulatives. 35. Make the number 35. 3 tens. 1. 2. Three and five ones. One, two, three, four, five, thirty five, ten, twenty, thirty, one, two, three. Four, five. Then add twelve. Add one ten. And two ones. One. Two. All together. That's the same as 47. Let's check. One, two, three, four tens, seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four tens, seven ones, 47. Step three, identify the inverse operation. Here we have addition. The inverse, the opposite operation is subtraction. So I'm going to write, make a note that I need to subtract to use the inverse to check. Step four, write out the inverse calculation. I'm going to draw an arrow from 47 to the add sign. And because I'm using inverse, I'm using subtraction. So instead of adding 12, I'm going to start at 47 and take away 12. So I'm going to do 47, take away 12. 47, take away 12. 12. Step 5. Solve the calculation. 47 take away 12. So I'm going to use the deans that I had earlier and get my 47 that I had made. Four tens, forty, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to take away twelve. 
take away 110. Take away two ones. What do I have left? 10, 20, 30. One, two, three, four, five. Five ones. Three tens and five ones. 47 take away 12 equals 35. Step six, check the calculation was correct. If this calculation that you started with is correct, if 35 add 12 does equal 47, then when you use the inverse, it should give you 35. 47 take away 12 should give you 35. So 47 take away 12 did give us 35. So we know that is correct. So that is how you can use the inverse to check your calculations. When you are working out how to use the inverse, remember to think of start here and draw your arrow from 47 to 35 from the answer to the first number. Then look at the operation and change it into the opposite. So instead of adding 12, we are going to subtract 12. So it will be 47 subtract 12 should equal 35. For this one, 53 take away 2 equals 51. To work out our inverse, we'll draw our arrow from our answer to the first number. And then we will look at our operation, take away 2. Instead of taking away 2, we need to do the opposite. So we're going to add 2. So we will do 51 add 2 should equal 53. Okay, you can now work through the rest of the challenge questions following the steps that I have shown you. Good luck, I hope you enjoy it.